Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Damon Khan. We're here at the Taylor Catchall Press Conference in Glasgow. With me is the one and only John Doherty. John, how's life treating you? All good, pal. Just um, at the press conference now. Obviously, I got taught on Tuesday on boxing, so I'm, uh, I'm over the moon and I can't wait to, to get back on the big stage. Yeah, let's talk about you for a moment. You've um, had a fight recently, I think. Yeah. Um, let's talk about that. How do you feel? How do you assess your performance? Uh, I boxed last uh, Saturday on Sam Kinnick's uh, show and uh, uh, it was a good fight, yeah. Um, just not uh, a walk over, really. Um, I knocked him out in the third round. Um, I was wanting some rounds. He, he's given some good boys some rounds, but um, I got him out there in three rounds. Um, so, yeah, and then I got the call this on Tuesday, so um, it's worked out perfect. I was supposed to be doing an eight round on my last fight. Uh, but the boy pulled out and it got put down to a six rounder, and it was a later post, uh, opponent again. So um, I'm just looking forward to the show now. John, I remember talking to you last time, and you were kind of in a position where you're coming off the Cullen loss, and you were like, "I really need to focus. I've really kind of got that kick up the backside I needed. I want to focus. I want to kind of push on. I really want to kind of succeed." Do you feel you've got that now? And do you feel you're pushing forward with that? Definitely. Uh, that's always in the back of my head now. Is and I'm. Uh, I'm pushing Ladies towards big fights after this year. From, um, so, uh, whatever his next comes, and uh, Jack Cullen has le uh, so learnt me a good lesson. A we'll skip this, uh, so, what have you got planned then for your 2022? Obviously, you're looking for a big year. You want to put yourself back out there, get back on the big shows. You're here at what's going to be a big show on Saturday night. Nights like, or oh, press conferences like this, and nights coming up the weekend must kind of get you wanting to get back to that big stage. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know what's next year, but it's uh, either an eight or ten round next, and then um, a big fight after that. I'm really jumping a big fight after this year, um, but whatever comes my way, I'll be taking. You know what I mean? Um, I won't be uh, waiting around um, and getting uh, walkover fights after this fight here. It's um, it's into into good fights, but um, as I said, I've got uh, Jordan Grant on uh, Saturday, and um, he, he's not a bad opponent. He's not no genuine, no, not walkover. Do you know what I mean? So um, I've got to be on the ball and uh, make sure I perform well in front of the, the big crowd on, on Sky on Saturday. In terms of you kind of looking forward, is there anyone you look to that you're targeting? Do you look at the Jack Cullen rematch or anything like that? Yeah, who, whoever they want to put towards me. Um, if it's Jack Cullen fight, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, um, that's a fight I want to revenge, but um, I'm not going to keep talking about Jack Cullen. Um, he, he done his job and he beat me fair and well, but um, we'll see who, whoever's got titles out I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to fight. So. Um, if it's uh, Zach Chilly who's got the title or it's Lone Hoover, Hoover, I'm, I'm ready to jump in and uh, fight anyone. Um, I just want to get to the highest I can possibly go and um, I won't be waiting around no more. John, let's take a quick look at the main event. Uh, what do you see happening? Um, I see it being a competitive fight for the first few rounds, but I just see I can see a Josh Taylor stoppage in the late rounds. John, let's see you over there. We're about to start the press conference. We'll show the best of the weekend. Thanks for speaking Boxing Social. Thank you. Top man.